So we're here at the AMD booth with a bit of a surprise because AMD didn't really want to talk about this in their presentation. I think they teased it briefly in the live stream. We got pre-briefed on it with a single slide, but they're actually here showing a demo of FSR 4 upscaling technology. So we've got two monitors here. They're both running, I believe, prototype versions of the RX 9070 XT. So that's a little bit interesting as well. But on the left here, we've got FSR 3, or FSR 3.1 running in the performance mode at 4K in Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. And here we've got FSR 4 running 4K performance mode uh, with, you know, again, exactly the same game. So we've tried to line up the two uh, settings here, just have a look at some of the uh, quality differences. We don't really know performance, there's no FPS counters or that sort of thing. So yeah, we're gonna have a bit of a dive into at least the visual quality that we can see from this single game demo because yeah, I've been reasonably impressed with FSR 4, just spending the last sort of 10, 20 minutes having a, a really close look at the image quality differences. And I guess the real key benefit that, of this sort of demo setup is they're using the performance mode, which has kind of been a worst case scenario for FSR 3.1 for quite a while. Um, you really don't want to be using FSR at the performance mode if possible with older versions. It just, the quality wasn't good. And on top of that, Ratchet & Clank has been one of the worst examples for FSR 3. It's been a really tricky game for the technology. So we're gonna have a look at a couple of improvements that I've noticed straight away. The first one is in this green element here. So if we zoom in and take a look, so you'll see here that there's, in the FSR 3.1 performance image, there's a lot of garbling in this sort of transparent area here as these particles are swilling around inside this weird robotic thing. You really don't get a lot of detail, you don't get a lot of definition, it's all just blurred and garbled together. It looks really bad, but if we move over to the FSR 4 image, there's a lot more definition in this area. You can make out the individual particles as the colors are spinning around behind the green area and immediately this looks much, much better. Now, I'm not sure how this would compare to, to DLSS, for example, but at the very least, that section of image quality looks significantly better and resolves one of the things that I've really noticed with FSR 3.1 previously are these sort of particle effects. And again, if we look up here, one of the things that has been a pain point for FSR in the past has been transparent effects. So if we look at this rotating ring around this alien here and some of the uh, fire coming out of the bottom of these jets, Again, you'll see a real lack of definition. This actually has a pattern to it in there as it's rotating around, but you really cannot tell that from the FSR 3.1 presentation. And even below here with some of these fire elements, again, a lot of garbling around these particular parts. And if you have a very close look, it just doesn't look probably as good as it should. But if we move over here to have a look at FSR 4, you can start to see more of that definition in this transparency as it's rotating around. Now it's still, you know, not the highest quality because we're still using the performance mode. So it's having to upscale from 1080p to 4K, that's pretty difficult. But this is much more in line with what we typically see with DLSS in this game where there is definition in these transparent effects. This, these areas here look a lot smoother and less garbled and garbage looking with the fire element. So, Looks like FSR 4 is gonna be bringing quite a significant upgrade to the quality of these sort of transparent effects, which is as you'd expect from a sort of AI processing uh, algorithm. So those are a couple of things that we've looked at, but let's go back, let's take a look at a couple more things. Maybe just a wide shot for this, but if we have a look up in this section here, you'll see a lot of uh, particulates again, like the confetti streaming down from above. And I'm not noticing a lot of ghosting. I'm not noticing a lot of streaking or garbling of these uh, particles as they're floating around. If we take a really close look, it's looking pretty clean and nice. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of pain points or potential pain points here. You know, the colors, all the different colors flipping around and, and twisting and turning. And yeah, there's a few trails every once in a while if we get into some of these areas, if we look really closely. But we take a look at this. Let's move back over to have a look at FSR 3.1. And you'll notice many more significant streaks as things are falling down throughout the image. The particles are not as defined. They don't look as rectangular. They look pixelated and blurry, like they're being rendered at a really low resolution. And this crowd in the background as well is much lower detailed, much lower resolution, because it's having to do so much, right? Like it's having to render these particles, it's having to render the movement in the crowd. It's just not something that FSR 3.1 in the performance mode is designed for. Whereas the crowd over here looks much more like a 4K image. So that's one of the benefits. We've also seen benefits if we look in the fur on these, on these particular, on, or on Ratchet himself. If we have a very close look at the fur on the background, or at least the back of his head, you notice 
any sort of movement is creating pixelation, artifacts. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, you can sort of see the, the edges of the, the fur, the, the lack of definition, the lack of stability as he's rotating around. And also, in addition, you know, as he's moving his arm up and down, garbling as we look at the, the robot on the back of his head, garbling, and any particles that are streaking across his body as well. There's a lot of issues with that. But again, if we come over here and we look at FSR4, it's a much smoother and nicer presentation. Not as much garbling that we're seeing in the fur. We're seeing much better stability around the uh, clank on his back. And anytime there's particles streaking across the image, there's just it just looks a lot better. It's a lot more stable. And again, we're looking at the 4K performance mode here, which means that as we go up the, to balanced, as we go up to quality mode, it should be potentially quite a lot better. The one downside I've potentially seen here with FSR4 is the overall smoothness of the image. So while a lot of the artifacts related to the fur in Ratchet's head have been resolved relative to FSR 3.1, it, it still looks pretty smooth. There's not a lot of definition or fine detail in these particular elements, which isn't necessarily the case throughout the rest of the presentation. A lot of the other detail looks pretty good, and we've played more of the game than the, just this one scene, but this is a really good one scene example. Um, so, yeah, I mean, in general, when we've been looking at FSR4 for this demo, I've been pretty impressed with the image quality that we've seen here. At least when comparing this one demo, 4K performance mode versus 4K performance mode, it's a significant change. I think I'd be much happier to play games in this particular configuration. Was this configuration, I mean, I don't know whether you could call this 4K in some scenarios. There's just a lack of detail in some areas. So yeah, I mean, like I said, I've been running around playing Ratchet & Clank for a little bit here and trying to figure out, you know, are there more issues with FSR4? And we'll have to do a more detailed exploration of this technology when it's available. The Harbour Unboxed CES coverage is brought to you by Gigabyte and their new range of X870 and Z890 motherboards, powering the latest AMD and Intel processors. Gigabyte Z890 range supports Intel's new Core Ultra processors, while the X870 range supports AMD's Ryzen 9000 series, including the gaming flagship Ryzen 7 9800X 3D. All models offer robust power delivery with optimal cooling, screwless M.2 storage, and AI-powered overclocking software to ensure you get the most out of your CPU. The stacked I.O. offers various connectivity options, including Wi-Fi 7, up to 10 gigabit LAN, Thunderbolt 4, and plenty of USB ports. Now, a new feature of the AI Top models is the included utility that allows you to train your own AI models at home or for small-slash-large-scale businesses. Gigabyte's X870 and Z890 motherboards are available right now from your favorite online retailers. So for more information, please check the links in the video description. So another really good example of FSR4 is looking at the stability difference between FSR 3.1 and FSR4. Again, that was a really big pain point for FSR previously, especially when you were upscaling from relatively low resolutions like the performance mode here. If we have a really close look at, I mean, you don't even need to have a close look, let's be honest. This is FSR3 trying to reconstruct this uh, I guess carpet, red carpet element, which has a lot of text, fine texture detail. And in this section, which is very, very noticeable, there's absolutely no stability to this image whatsoever. If you have, you know, we're not moving at all. There's no camera movement and FSR 3, at least 3.1, is unable to resolve this in a way that's pleasing and consistent. And again, you're seeing all the same issues we were talking about previously with streaking of artifacts and anything that passes over this section looks really bad. But if we move across to have a look at the FSR 4 image, and the camera isn't quite in the same position, but no artifacts. There's the stability of this image is much better. And this is something that I was noticing moving more through the game world. Any sort of fine detail, small lines, thin lines with FSR 3 at a performance level upscaling, you would see a lot of instability with the image. Whereas with FSR 4, it's a lot better. Now there's still obviously some, gonna be some instability when you're trying to upscale from 1080p to 4K. The grass section in this Ratchet & Clank demo, it wasn't 100% no artifacts, but this looked absolutely terrible and this looked pretty reasonable, certainly very, very playable in my opinion. So it looks like as far as all of the all of the things that we've talked about with FSR4, I mean FSR3 previously, so transparencies, uh, particles, stability, making sure that fine details are being reconstructed, at least some of those or the majority of those appear to have been addressed and upgraded, improved uh, with FSR4 technology. So yeah.
early signs looking pretty good in this particular game. So yeah, FSR4 technology here on display at AMD. So I guess that pretty much does it for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks to Gigabyte for bringing us out to CES 2025. Um, what else is there to say? Support us on Patreon if you like our content. We've got links to that in the description below. If you sign up, you get access to our Discord community, monthly live streams, BTS content, plenty of good stuff. So yeah, thanks for that. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.